ball is called a sphere. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. I'm going to use this. Because the pH is the F sound, so a sphere. Can yeah. you find the two yeah. pieces that look yeah. like a cube yeah. to match up? How heavy you want a cookie? There you go. Have you got a full sound cookie? And then final other piece. All right, now trace the cube. Cube. But it was one of the ones where the day. Hi friends, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. In this video, you're going to see multiple math activities that we did over the course of, I don't know, up two or three weeks. Now these activities meet second grade standards, but you could of course do them with first graders or even third graders. Just assess your students' needs and meet them where they are. I hope you enjoy this video. So this first activity here is a geometry activity working on 3D shapes. So in order for us to employ some memory activity, we used the puzzle pieces that come with this activity. He had to match them up, say the name of the shape, and then trace the shape. Now I happen to ha also have some 3D shapes on hand, so he was matching up the little pieces to his mat here as well. So that helped out a little bit too. You found um, 46, and now the last step is to cover up 46 on your mat. Use your little ice cream cone erasers. Cover 46. up 46 is your answer. Okay. Look, there's two 46s, so that means 46 is going to be another answer. All right, we are going to add 14 plus 65. Now we know that we start in our ones place here, so we add four plus five. What does that make? Nine. Uh huh. So our nine's going to be our one in our ones place, and what's one plus six? Because I knew it because four. I remember that four plus four was eight, but then since it's four plus five, we only need. One more. Then. You mean oh, four plus nine? nine. Uh huh. Okay, so yeah, so four, five plus four is a nine. Okay, that was a great way to think of it because you knew four plus four, you knew your double fat. Uh, seven. Okay, so our answer is 79. Can you find the 79 cone? You find your 79 cone, there you go. All right, put that on your ice cream. And now um, we can find the, the dominoes that match if we want. And we gotta cover it up. Okay, so we've got 65 and 14 plus 65 is 79. And now use one of your erasers and cover up the answer on the mat. As you have seen, this activity is an addition activity. And it had a few steps that he had to follow. So he had to look at the numbers on the ice cream cones. He could use his dominoes to help him add. And then he would find the ice cream cone that matched and, with the right answer and put it on the bottom. The final step was to find that answer on his mat and cover it up. So once he had his entire mat covered up, he knew he was complete. We used little ice cream cone erasers, which made it extra fun. I did it. Okay, now you have to find, the, wait, leave them there. Now you have to find the card. So there's 100, so write one in the box. There's 100. There's how many tens? So write a four. Oh, I might need to get you a new marker. No, I'm the wheel now. Four tens. Yeah, four tens. And four ones. And uh -huh. four ones. Yeah. Is it one hundred? All right. So you made the number one hundred forty-four. Excellent. All right. Let's do another one. This is a place value activity, and we used place value blocks. You can get them fairly cheap. 
I think mine were only, I don't know, less than $10. I know that. And he would look at the number and he had to build the number with place value blocks. And then he had to find the card that matched and write the number out. together. If there's two 19s, just put them one, one right after the other. Oh. Oh yeah, you just put it on top. That's fine. Put the other one on top. Okay, so as... Alright, this is three add and apples. So what we're going to do is we're going to add three numbers instead of two numbers. Now, we can add five more. You can put five apples on the tree and count five more. So say six, and I'll start putting them so you could go seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then put two more. Twelve, thirteen. Okay, so our answer is thirteen. Can you find the thirteen apple card and put it on? I guess this is the only one that equals fourteen. Okay, yep. Six plus five plus two. Thirteen. But there's two that equals seventeen and nine. Good. Now let me show you another way you could do this. And, and another thing I wanted you, get, wanted you to do is to take the dry erase marker and you're going to color in the two numbers that you added first. So you added 6 and 5 first. That made 11. And then you added two more and made 13. So color the 6 and the 5 squares. Or you could circle them if you want. 6. It's the end of the 5. All right. That made 11, and then you added two more and made 13. All right, for this one, what two numbers do you think you want to try to add together first? Uh, five and five. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, five and five. Why would you add those two first? Because, so then you could do five and five make 10, and then two more would be... 12. Yeah, it makes it nice and easy to, so oh. if you can find two numbers that make 10 first, then it's real easy to keep adding. Yeah, so that one you didn't have to even use your apples on. It was real easy. Okay, so color 5 and 5 because those are the two you added uh, first. All right, this one says 6 plus 2 plus 2. All right, what do you think you want to add? Uh, 6 and 2, so that means it would I know how to do this without the apples. Okay. Six plus two means eight, mm -hmm. and then nine, ten. Excellent, very good. And you know, another um, thing that I have on here, if, if you didn't want to use the, apple, the apples, you is could you could these. do the number line. Yeah, so you would start at six, so you'd take an apple, and you would start at six, and you'd count two more. One, two hops, and then two more hops. One, two hops, and you would get to ten. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's try another one and we'll see. You may not even need to do it on the next one either. This activity is a great one for doing some mathematical thinking. So when we are adding three digit numbers, I try to get the students to think about different ways they can add the numbers to make it quicker or just use the concepts that they already know. So if they already know double facts and there's a double fact, they could use that. If they already know there's two numbers that equal 10, that's easier to add than just to add the last number on. Um, there's many, many ways they could do it. And sometimes you'll be surprised that they come up with their own way that you never even thought of. So that's kind of fun. Now this particular activity obviously has an apple theme, and you saw that he was um, either using the number line or he could use his little apple erasers and it all helped him figure out the answers and he's becoming a pretty quick mathematician here. So you take a car it says count by one. So you're going to find the missing number counting by one. So this is 115, 116. What would come next? 116. 
Yeah. Right, so you're going to look in your cards and you're going to find 117 and place it on the empty turtle cage here. Okay, excellent. Now the last step is, then you're going to look at your mat and you're going to find what number would come after that. So we have 150, 116, 117. What number would come after that? Okay, good. So use your turtles and cover up 118. Okay, that's how you do it. So let's take the next one. Now the next one is trickier. You got to look over here. It says count by tens. So you got to look at the tens place. So this is 919. 10 more would be 929. 10 more would be 900, 939. Now if we're changing our tens, then the next one, so we're counting by 10, 20, 30. So the next one would be 900. What? 49, right. So let's look on our map and find 949. There it is. All right, use one of your turtles and cover up 949. See, very good. All right, so we have 678, 679, 680. What will come next in the pattern? Look at your mat here. Oh, we'll come after 680. So this activity was another place value activity. He really actually enjoyed this one, even though it is kind of complicated, but it employs a lot of different thinking. So it was not only place value, but it was also missing number and thinking about next number and counting and all of those wonderful things that you need as a foundation to mathematical practice. So as he was finding the right turtle fish tanks, he was also covering up his little mat with our little turtle erasers. Now you do not have to get so crafty and have the perfectly matching erasers to each activity, but we just happened to have them on hand and so I pulled them out and we used those and it was a lot of fun. Well guys, there you have it. I hope you really enjoyed this video. My next video is going to be a little bit unconventional, something different that I haven't done in a while. And it's going to be an organizational video and I'm gonna give you a little tour of my homeschool cabinets and where I keep all of this stuff, this homeschool stuff, uh, because we are moving. I don't know if you saw my last video, but I mentioned it in my last video. So I have to pack up all of our school stuff and it's quite the process, but I'm going to try to take you along with me on it. I've been filming over the last couple of days and um, it's getting there. So I hope to see you in that next video. Hang in there with me and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.